Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction. And today we're going to be finishing off season three of iCarly. I don't even know which part this is. I think it's part five, actually, because we had to do this one a little bit weird. There isn't the same amount of episodes. So in this one, we're actually doing four episodes in this video, which is starting with the bloopers one and ending with I Beat the Heat. So, um... Yeah, decided to do things a little bit out of order because um, Ice Psycho was before this video. So that's just how it's going to go. We're probably going to get back on track once we start season four. But hope you guys have been enjoying this reaction so far. If you guys would like to watch the full length reaction to iCarly on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue iCarly. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let's post fix it. Miranda. Miranda. Hold on. What the heck? It's always a pleasure. Everything ready? Yeah, we got the video queued on the studio set. Cool. Bring Jerry, okay? You got it. Bring Jerry to set. Miranda, I have Dan Schneider on the phone for you. He says it's really important. Take a message. Hey, Dan. <laughs> busy. Hey, I have Jerry. What's going on? Just sit. <laughs> oh God! They're gonna fire him, aren't they? Uh, did I do something wrong? Cause I really need this job. Look, Jerry. You, I... you, you know I love playing Spencer. I know. Maybe you need to take a look at this. Take a look at what? What is going on? I was just in the bathroom. And... Mm, but almost definitely sour cream. Hold. Uh, sour milk! <laughs> I like I know you guys are mad what that we're letting you go to the fight, but... Sorry, I don't know what line to say. Why are you drinking ketchup? <laughs> what was that crash? Oh, we're fine. The elevator just fell nine stories to the... To the what? To the basement. It's in the basement. Can you show me where that is? It's on the stairs. I'll take those. <laughs> I've got a wagon full of dog parts and a big bag of dog hair. <laughs> oh! What? Got a wagon full of dog parts, apparently. <laughs> Talks cheap, Joder. Joder. <laughs> wow. Is he served with soft cheap? What? <laughs> Pack the one. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I'm sorry. I just. Can I have a minute? Don't be embarrassed. I know. Baby. <laughs> just roll it, please. Come on. <laughs> Two. Okay, okay. I am not the only actor on iCarly that sometimes messes up their lines. Here, let me see this. Oh, don't, don't just try my No, I'm touching you. 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 I'm touching <laughs> Just hurry up and yeah. Um, yeah. What? What? I don't this even guy. Know. Like, I am so confused. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. Puberty. laughs> Alrighty. Because if you're dating Shane, that'll make Carly want a boyfriend, and then oh, I can. Here he comes. Wait, Go. Wait, wait. Leave. <laughs> okay, I was bluffing when I said I don't bluff, but I'm serious about quitting. <laughs> 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 that? Nathan's made a lot of mistakes himself, so I'm not the only one who wastes time while we're filming. Jeanette bloopers. Uh oh. This meeting is about you. Cook on the Jeanette thing. I don't, I don't come on, no, just cook on the. I will come okay. over there and cook on. Uh, the boy doesn't make the decision. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Gimme turns me down. Like I'm not good enough for that shirtless potato. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> No, it was this afternoon. I'm sorry, it wasn't this morning. It was 12. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Don't you let him off. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the doctors can't fix you. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody barked behind us. Just to make me know. <laughs> Not my fault. Waiting around for people makes me creep. What? Makes me creep? When do I not rock? Look at me. I'm rock I'm rocking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to go back and do this with like every movie and show that I've ever recorded on the channel. The Big Bang Theory, just so you guys know, we're going to do the bloopers of every season in one video. Like, one video per season. So, yeah. He broke the tele- Take that. Take 
that telescope he, manufacturer. He really broke it. Got it. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> Hello, the remote's gone again. I just probably yeah, oh. We lost it. It's out of there. In five, four. What? Oh no! Wow. Watch the TV swing out. <laughs> it didn't even come out. This ostrich thinks I'm a lady. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Wow. Talk about adult jokes right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anyway. You know, it is so lonely. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> stuff was still in my mouth too. It was all over the place. What's the matter with you? Oh, dude. Why? <laughs> so, should we look at more clips? Sure. Right after this commercial break. The camera's behind you. Good job. Right after this commercial break. Good job, Jerry. Well, maybe I've been messing up because I'm physically wrecked. Wrecked? Yeah, because of all the stunts I do on the show. You don't do that many stunts. Do so. Click on that. Click on what? Fourth from the bottom. I'm Click clicking it. it. Click. <laughs> hey, you guys. I was wondering. Ah! Literally, how does that always happen? You need me. I'll be at the gym. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they really did put Spencer through a lot. See all the stunts I do? So, see all these stunts. Prove it. What button? The green one. I'm pressing the green one and not the camera! Time for a confetti surprise! Hit it! Spencer isn't the only character on iCarly that does stunts. Yeah, anyway. You know what really wastes time on set? What? Everyone acting all silly and being goofy and laughing and just being unprofessional. I think you're exaggerating. No. <laughs> Here, let's watch this clip labeled everyone acting all silly and being goofy and laughing and just being unprofessional. <laughs> Dan sent me some direction via text message. Let me clear this message here. I will act better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Easy, Nathan. Aw, your song's over. Do another one. <laughs> oh my god, she was caught in my pipes. Aw, <laughs> your song's over. <laughs> she kicked me and she started talking to people. <laughs> I always watch because I've been worried about your posture. Is that Drake? Oh my god. I don't believe I know you. Where's Josh? <laughs> Freddie was old enough to toddle. I had a locator chip placed in his head. <laughs> if Spencer tries to be lazy, throw coffee in his face to perk him up. No, sorry. Really? You said that? Coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it just knocked him over. Play every fourth word. Happy birthday! <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. Yeah. I guess almost everyone on iCarly messes up their lines. Let's take a look at some of your screw ups. No! You, yes. <laughs> and so to the question can we drink and eat spaghetti and meatballs? And he made our puppet persona sniff his face. What? <laughs> Irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get out of here. Myth pigs catch. <laughs> I had to get rid of her by telling her we needed some imaginary doodles. Sorry, that's not right. Uh, I heard a pig coming from the sink. Maybe he's held in. Sorry. Which causes this camera to snap a picture of the thief, so I'll know that. You know what Coach Miss Nadley made us do? <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> 
<laughs> Defaulty cup. Defaulty. <laughs> that was a lot of words. <laughs> Let me guess. Carly's a coward. Carly's lame. Carly's Carly. Sorry. <laughs> so the only two people left in the game now are Sam and my best friend. My best friend. Sorry. <laughs> your best friend. So they, yeah. Answer. Well, I wrote my report on Bigfoot, and I worked really hard on it. And then Mrs. Cantrell was all, Bigfoot isn't real, so you get an A. An F. Oh, this is from an episode that's <laughs> after this that one. Sorry. Oh my god, really? Oh no, that I just got my hand in the chicken. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Where are you? No, uh, Carly just walked in. Yeah, sure. For you. Who is it? Our creator. Dad? He's on a submarine. Oh, cool. Dad? Hey. Yeah, we're doing iCarly Carly tonight. Why? Right, so I guess I'll see you tonight. I mean, I won't see you, but you'll see me. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, you want to talk to Spencer again? Yeah. Oh, you don't? Uh. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, you don't? What? His submarine's docked right off the coast of Alaska where they have internet access, so he and the whole crew are going to watch iCarly tonight. For real? Oh, yeah. Her name is Candace. Classy. That's my mom's she's name, and she's not classy. Company. She reads books, <laughs> and she wears pantyhose. Impressive. Yeah. Where'd you get those? You know Sarko's cousin, the optometrist? Isaac? Yep. Um, I think your cell phone's ringing. Yeah. You see it? It's in the chicken, isn't it? Could it be in your chicken? <laughs> oh, man. Pretty sophisticated. In five, four, <laughs> three. Did you see Sam's email? No. What email? She's in jail. What? what? What happened? She was at the Jiffy Mart buying a snack and the guy cut in front of her, so she shoved a hot chili dog down his pants and it turns out the guy was an ambassador from Mexico. Oh. Los frijoles calientes queman mis pantalones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean with Sam. Oh, uh, the oh God. The took her down to Juvie. I thought Spencer was your dad. Yes. What? Well, how are we going to do the show without Sam? Spencer! Oh, God. Gibby, don't do that. That's gross. Spencer! Yeah, what's up? I need you to fill in for Sam and I, Carly, tonight. Why? Where's Sam? Juvie. Again! What'd she do? <laughs> she shoved a hot chili dog down a foreign dignitary's pants. Good job, Sam. Senor Gutierrez? Oh, come on. Just have Candace wait down here till the show's over. Or she can come up and watch. Yeah! No! She said... She's a very sophisticated yeah. woman. I can't have her thinking I spend my time hanging with teenagers doing goofy stuff. But you do. That's like all you do! Yeah, but I can't have her thinking that. No. Oh, dang. <laughs> you know that was a fake you? tear. <laughs> Happy lip gloss. Just a moment. Really, dude? Hello, Candace. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer! Oh, that's her now. Here. Why don't you have some cucumber water? And I'll go see what Carly needs. Thank you. Uh, until I return. I'll be here. I think these are pickle slices in the water. Oh, uh, my God. The cucumber's grumpy cousin. <laughs> that's not... That's not good, though. <laughs> Freddy says in five, four, three, two, then points at us, then we introduce the show. Then after that, we go to that wheel over there and do a bit called Put That in Your Man Purse, which you don't know about, but just play along and you'll figure it out as we go. All right. Why doesn't Freddy say in five, four, three, two, one? No one knows. I know. No one cares. <laughs> uh, I'm Spencer, going in for Sam, who's... Then unexpectedly... Detained. Yes, detained. <laughs> Special like Carly tonight, because my dad, our dad, is both our dads. We're siblings. They know that. 
deep in the Nebraska yeah. ocean. That's a good point, actually. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do tonight uh, is play a little game called Put, Put that that in your your papers. Papers. Yeah. It all says okay. sour milk. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. That's disgusting. Now, please enjoy our little friend Gibby as he teaches us new vocabulary words while simultaneously brushing his teeth with mustard. Gibby? No! Why are we doing that? It looks like he's. Oh, I don't want to watch Where that. Are you? Where are nope. You going? Candace doesn't know I'm doing this. I have to stall her. Okay, but hurry back. We'll do. I know. I know. <laughs> you know how teenage girls can be. Oh, yes. What was her problem? Why don't we sit down? All right. Right this way. Ooh. Here we are. That is a purple dress. <laughs> I don't know now, why he likes this woman. That's not his type of woman. Mushroom tartlets. Ooh, I love one. <laughs> I just finished business school, and one of my professors invites me to this party at his condo. Oh, professors and condos. Listen, I'll be right back. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. I don't like this. Hydrogenated. <laughs> Why isn't Spencer back yet? I don't know, but Gibby's been doing this bit for four minutes. That's so nasty. So I don't, an hour and a half I don't later, like that. And I come back to the party now dressed appropriately. Yay, a happy ending. Now I really should go upstairs and check on Carly. Wait, torture. <laughs> This episode is torture because I don't want to keep Phoenix. watching that. Sorry, Gibby, that's all we have time for. <laughs> and now, iCarly proudly presents another pathetic play. Tonight, a new installment of The Cowboy and the Idiot Farm Girl Who Thought the Cowboy's Mustache Was a Squirrel. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, my no man. The only furry thing upon my face would be this a here mustache. <laughs> really? Well, except for these, which is eyes of brown. I'm afraid I must reiterate. There ain't no squirrels upon my face. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did they have her do that? That's nasty. This concludes tonight's installment of The Cowboy and the Idiot Farm Girl Who Thought the Cowboy's Mustache Was a Squirrel. And now, please enjoy this pre-taped super slow motion footage of Carly shaking her very wet hair, much like a dog after a swim. Eyebrows? How? Yeah, that looked like that hurt. Oh, God. <laughs> mustache, mustache. Okay, after the wet hair thing, play a couple more clips while I sit up for, hey, what am I licking? Okay. Here he comes! Sorry, it took so long, but Carly needs- oh, 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 oh. And he's got the mustache on still. I am. Hit. <laughs> Do you like yams? Sure. Good! Because I made a lovely yam puree with almond butter to go with our roasted stuffed chicken. How's that sound? Delicious. Mmm. The almond butter gives it such a rich... I get it, though. She's not... It's not very fair to her. It's literally a tennis racket. Is it a basket? Oh, wrong! Not a basket! Listen to your tongue! My tongue is still numb from the mustard! Ten seconds! Oh, um... Is it a tennis racket? Yes! 
<laughs> they torture Gibby way too much on this show. This has been. The fact that I can get the jingle. I think he died. I currently present the continuing saga of. The Englishman who is a terrible father to his two children named Buffley and Peter. With a special guest star, me! <laughs> oh my Dad! god. Dad! It's my family! Dad, I live in England! Even though I don't have an English accent! But, sir, you requested I bring him. He is indeed your child, father. Poppycock! What the hell? <laughs> no baby hungry. Someone feed that fish. Baby so hungry. Have some creamed fish. Ew. Yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Baby was worried this would happen. Spencer? Could you give me like five minutes and I'll be right down? I've been waiting almost a half hour <laughs> down there by myself. Oh, 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 good heavens. Baby Lumpley has green fish stuck in his gullet. I'll heimlich his tummy. <laughs> She's trying not to laugh, yeah, too. Freaks. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Stay safe. <laughs> Bye, Daddy! <laughs> I'm sorry if this embarrasses you. <laughs> Wait, before we go, I think Baby Lumpley wants some more creamed fish. That's nasty. Oh, my God. That stuff is gross. Oh boy, he's dressed like Michael Jackson. What are you doing? <laughs> Watching the news? You're supposed to be upstairs with us rehearsing for iCarly. Why aren't you wearing your 80s costume? Why aren't you more appealing? <laughs> Let's go. Wait, just let me watch the next story. On the northern outskirts of Mount Baker National Forest, two hikers saw something that at first they thought was a large bear. It's Bigfoot. I know it's Bigfoot. Shh. You're the only one talking. Shh. See that? That is so fake. Bigfoot. Could have just been a guy in a costume. Maybe you're just a guy in a costume. He is. Actually, I am. Hush! So was it a hoax? No. Or was it Bigfoot? Yes! Discussion over. No. Take that, Mrs. Guntrell. We all had to write a report about a rare creature. Oh, yeah. I wrote mine about that tall pygmy that dated my mom. <laughs> tall pygmy? <laughs> They're very rare. Okay, if I you say so. I wrote my report on Bigfoot, and I worked really hard on it. And then Mrs. Guntrell was all... Bigfoot isn't real, so you get an F. I'd like to give her an F. I went swimming at Sako's today and I got water in my ear. Yeah, I recognize that. That happens to me a lot. Well, what up with the 80s garb? These are costumes for an iCarly bit we were rehearsing. Till Carly saw a Bigfoot story on the news and went all, wee 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 wee. Oh, but there is such a thing as the beave coon. <laughs> yes, there sure is. What is that? A beaver and a raccoon? A creature that lives in Spencer's diseased imagination. I saw one with my own eyes. Don't tell the story. I was in the eighth grade. No. And just as dusk fell, I saw it. What? A beaver coon. A creature about yay wide and yay long. Yay? It had the head of a beaver and the body of a raccoon. <laughs> beaver coon. Yes. Are we going to rehearse this or Gibby. what? <laughs> in five, four... Why does she always have stuff in that locker except for books? Man, how long should a crock pot take to cook gumbo? How would I know? Well, check it on your pair phone. There's no crock pot app. <laughs> Man, everybody's talking about Bigfoot because of that video on the news. I know. During my last class, they Hey, hey! Hi. What? The only fun part about this whole Bigfoot debate is watching people scream at each other. People screaming at each other isn't fun. Yeah, 
that is. Watch You're this. You're not watching the right argument, son. Isn't that Miss Briggs' bullhorn? It was before I took it. <laughs> hey, you guys, guess what? What? So, why is everyone fighting? The Bigfoot debate. Oh, good. Give me that. Hey! Uh, uh, everyone! You guys! No, even wrote this book. Bigfoot, true or real? That, that doesn't leave room for interpretation. How'd you get that guy to come on iCarly? <laughs> I just emailed him and he wrote back saying he'd do it. We're really gonna talk about Bigfoot on iCarly? Sure, why not? Scurry! Scooch! Come on, let's go. Will you? Uh, really? So, you took my bullhorn. No, 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 no. See, Sam was the one that- Out with me! Loud! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cheese! Oh, God, what are they cheese doing? What the heck? Bigfoot. <laughs> or as Bigfoot's called in Mexico. El Futa Gigantico. So now Why are they the using him for that though? Like... The world's number one expert on Bigfoot. So what do you think about the recent Bigfoot sighting by those hikers in Mount Baker National Forest? Do you think it was real? Oh, I do. In fact, two years ago, I predicted that Bigfoot would be spotted in that very location. And because Bigfoot usually comes out of hibernation during this time of year. You weren't popular as a kid, were you? <laughs> what do you know about the beave kid? Oh my god. <laughs> Surely you've heard of it? As the head of a beaver in the body of a raccoon? Is this person supposed to be here? He's my brother. And you can read about that dream in my new book, Bigfoot. True? True. Or real? Or real. If you see an animal that looks like this, please contact beavecoon.org. Oh, man, he's big though. Don't zoom in on it! So, a lying little girl and a freaky rabbi. I once met a freaky rabbi in Vegas. Yeah, I don't want to know. Hey, can I have this root beer? Wait, I think that's our last one. It is, thanks. <laughs> uh, I've heard of that place. The Food Channel did a whole thing about Robin's wieners on American meats. Here, click on the link. Man, how can David Schwimmer hold his breath this long? <laughs> Ryan Seacrest is never wrong! That's not true. So there's never going to be a friend's reunion. <laughs> there was, okay, though, look, wasn't there? I want to prove yeah, there that Bigfoot exists. Yes! Yeah. Mm. Mm. Awesome hot dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's the exit. Mount Baker National Forest. Go, 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 go. I see it. Ah. Water in my ear. Careful, careful. Welcome to Mount Baker National Forest! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go find Bigfoot! And <laughs> a beef coon! Bigfoot! Oh, she fell asleep while eating one of Robin's wieners. <laughs> Sam, wake up! Wow! It's nice out here! What are those? Motion activated night vision wireless cameras. Uh... See, I set these up in a tall tree, and when they pick up motion, they turn on and transmit an audio video signal, scanning a radius of up to 10 oh, yards. Oh, it hurts. What? The sound of him talking. But there might be wild pigs or deer in these woods. I'm gonna trap a snack. What the hell? Here, <laughs> I need you to stick this in my head. <laughs> it tickles my brain. <laughs> hey, 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 I was uh, up in a tree and, and I heard rustling and someone or, or something was. Do you it think was... it could have been Bigfoot? Or a beef coon? <laughs> Anybody see anything? It's just two hikers. It's just two guys. Whoa, Bigfoot. Where? Where? Oh. Hey, did you just... <laughs> ah, Jeff, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I really think you guys should go look for Bigfoot somewhere else. I totally agree. Good. Oh. Go. Let's get out of here. Carly? Bigfoot? What the? What do you mean? Why would How he know your name? How would Bigfoot know your name? <laughs> well, I didn't expect to see you all out here. But I know he's out here. Just like I wrote about in my new book, 
Big we foot. know about the book. Literally. Well, happy searching. <laughs> He's an interesting man. Yeah, I never knew a hot dog place could be called a wienery. Hey, no. Interessante. Oh, no, 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 don't. <laughs> I got those for Christmas. <laughs> Oh Have boy. Anything? Just trees. Two squirrels wrestling. <laughs> They're not wrestling. Carly? Hmm. They're not wrestling. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Sam's still asleep. <laughs> All right. Mm. So we angle that down a little oh, bit. Wow. And then we stick this in your oh. ear. Hmm. All right, got and, it. And now we'll be able to see whatever you see. Did you see those squirrels? <gasps> Don't talk about it! <laughs> Spencer! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Carly says you should look for Bigfoot. What was that? My rope trap! Oh my god. Hello? Who's there? Beef Coon? What the? <clears throat> Feet big? Did we get Bigfoot? Not unless Bigfoot has a zipper running down his back. <laughs> oh, it's the doctor. See, my book wasn't selling well, and my dad always <laughs> told me I'd be a failure. Your dad was right. So, you so what happened to Spencer like then? Just to create hype? Yes. So people would buy my new book. Where'd Spencer, Where'd Spencer go? Spencer go? <laughs> Duh, he climbed up that tree. Oh my god. Was here. Looks like he left. The RV. They're taking it. Sounds Who's like the RV. You mean our <laughs> recreational vehicle? Yes. yes. Who would have started our RV? Oh god. Their phones were in the RVs. The <laughs> That's why I always have my phone in my pocket. Look, we got Bigfoot right here, baby. Ugh, you guys are so stupid. Why are they? Pull his head off. I'm a sick person. Yeah. So there's no real Bigfoot? Yeah, there is. I just got into a fracas with him in the woods ten minutes ago. Okay, wait. If Dr. Van Gerben didn't steal our RV, then who did? Bigfoot. <laughs> All right, come on, people. Let's not be idiots here. I mean, <laughs> we're really gonna stand around thinking Bigfoot stole our RV? Really? Okay, this should be the last What's one. What's the temperature outside now? 103 degrees. Ugh, stupid heat wave. It's so hot out there. Would you turn on the air conditioning? It's on full blast. Well, it's not enough. I'm too hot. You are eating my frozen pizza. <laughs> now it's 104 degrees outside. Uh, what's that thing? My utopian city of the future. Your assignment is to build a model of a perfect city. A city of the future that is efficient and promotes good old-fashioned community values. Let me see that. It's a Norwegian air conditioner. Sako says it's insanely powerful. We'll fire it up. Hurry. Yeah, I'm sweating like a meatloaf here. Okay. Come on, look at this. Okay. Uh, How much power does that thing generate? Uh, so now we just stand here like this all day? Nah. We came with a big box of long yellow flex tubes, which I can attach to these and then run the cool air all throughout the apartment. Now I don't need this bag of ice in my pants. Oh, don't put it on her. <laughs> Ew. Because <laughs> we got us a Norwegian air conditioner. Oh, I love it. I swear I want to fly to Norwegia and thank everyone there personally. It's Norway. <laughs> she says it's over 90 degrees in her house. Uh, poor sweaty chick. Hey, why don't you invite her over here? 
Really? I can? Sure. Okay, cool. Better tell her to bring a blindfold. A blindfold? I gotta finish my project. Ready, come rub my neck. Yeah, that'll happen. Done! My room and now our whole apartment is a cool 71 degrees. Uh-oh. What happened? Power went out. Oh. What? Yeah. It happens on crazy hot days like this when everyone in the whole city is using their air conditioners full blast. But what about our Norwegian air conditioner? It's already getting hot in here again. I know. My pits are getting moister. Please don't smell your fingers. You know I have to. Oh. <laughs> oh. My God, calm down, lady. Oh, hi, Mrs. Vincent. Oh, Freddy, are you all right? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? The power's out. Are you injured? This is the hottest day in Seattle in over 20 years, and we're having a power blackout. Did you just call me a dummy? Yes, she did. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ready? Hit it. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Lock the door. Lock the door. Hello, Lubert. <laughs> Marissa. Uh, so I suppose you are. Uh, just gonna. Yeah. All uh, right. What are you doing here? How come you guys got power? Because Spencer has a generator. <laughs> and a Norwegian air conditioner. Well, you're not allowed to use those devices in your apartment. Oh, come on, just let us use them. Dude, lube. Well, I suppose I could let it slide if you let me hang out here in the nice, cool air. What's that big sore on your foot? I don't know, but it never heals. <laughs> There's so much wrong with that man. All right, let's not focus on Lubert's wound. Let's be happy we have electricity and air conditioning and just get ready for the web show tonight. Spencer. Hey, what's up? Really? Yes, yeah, send her up. Sabrina's here. She's coming upstairs. Ready? Oh, oh my hi. God. Oh, she's tall. <laughs> What are we doing? Uh, Mrs. Benson? Here we go. Come along. My children never call me. That's I'm too so bad. Sorry. Right in here. Chris is the only one with air conditioning. Why can't they go somewhere? When temperatures get too high, the elderly will start to die. Why are your rhymes so creepy? That's a creepy rhyme. Literally. Oh, what up with the antique parade? <laughs> Mrs. Benson says they need to be kept cooler. Hey, sir. Oh, God. Please don't bother it. I have angina. That sucks. You have what? Um, angina means chest pains. Oh, good. No, not good. Uh... Hi, Spencer. It's almost 100 degrees at our place. Could we... No, 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 no. Come on, I know that you and Chuck have had some troubles. In troubles? <laughs> He's beating me. I'm Gia. My daughter. And you're Chuck's sister? Uh-huh. <laughs> the smile. <laughs> Chuck, there are cupcakes in the kitchen. Mr. Chambers, why don't you and Gia come in and enjoy the cool air? <laughs> sure. Thanks. Sure. Thank you. Uh, after you massage my neck. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, get it good, old man. That sounded horrible. Yeah, my I'm face is the same. Professional basketball. <laughs> That's not any different. <laughs> Do you want to sit too? Nope. Oh, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does everybody you know, keep touching this? On my school project. Being an artist. Was the oh! <laughs> what was that? Just wait here. Look, Chuck, I know you threw this. No worries. It was my fault for stepping in front of that cupcake. So what were we? And I'm getting the door. Oh, hey. Hi, Spencer. 
Marty Klimesh, apartment 7C. Right, right. Yeah, I wanted to return this whisk I borrowed from you. Hello, Here comes Spencer. the doctor. Oh, hi, Dr. Dresden. Look, I know your apartment is- your allergies? Allergies? They're gone. Don't you remember the pills I'd you get? I better stay for a while just to be sure. Wait, I, I don't need you to st What's a whisk? getting out of control. I know, there's like 50 people here. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta do something. Okay, I realize that this is the only air-conditioned apartment in Seattle right now, but there's just too many people here. So I'm gonna have to ask at least 10 of you to leave right now. <laughs> How does everybody know? Oh, hey. Oh, you're back. Uh, hi, Griffin. Uh, could we talk for a sec? Uh, sure. Keep an eye on my utopian society. I guess that's why you're here, for cool air. Kinda. Uh huh. But not for me. He's got the peewee babies oh, in there. Babies. Oh my yep. god. Yep. Okay. Get over yourself, Carly. They're really valuable, and if they get too hot or too cold, I mean, they could become misshapen. Misshapen. Spencer's busy, so he don't kiss me. Yeah, that was not the vibe, Sorry. bro. <laughs> if I let you take your peewee babies in there, will you guard my project? Done deal. Okay. That's not lemonade. What is this? Just a little drink I learned how to make at Camp Adam up. If you don't like it, I can take my sister and leave. No, 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 no. I like it. I like it. I wouldn't keep drinking it. I have a wild guess what that Do you is, like but. Uh, there are people up here too? Hey, 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 you guys can't be up here. Relax, Benson. Uh oh. Hey. Hey, what happened to my cold air? My cold air stopped too. Easy, Angina. <laughs> okay, let's go downstairs and check the air conditioner. Just walk and rub. <laughs> Sam. Hey, Spencer, is something wrong with the air conditioner? Griffin. What's going on? I swapped out some of the air tubes to keep my peewee babies chilled. I'm watching it. And I think my peewee babies are a little more important than your fallopian city. <laughs> Don't say fallopian. Obsessing over your dumb little play pretties. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Give me that fruit bar. Okay. No, <laughs> Good. I need I'm that fruit bar. bar. What did I do that was so bad? Just tell me. Really? down the stairs and hurt himself and all you cared about was our dinner reservation we could have got married and had a better son <laughs> oh. where's my sister bathroom what are you doing with my magazine just reading it hey there's a bug in your zipper a bug i'll get it oh my god help me up on this thing <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Listen, everyone. I'll be the first to admit that Spencer and I weren't too psyched about having so many of you here in our apartment. We're all neighbors, and I bet most of us don't even know each other's first names. Isn't that sad? You see that big thing on the floor there? That's a model of a utopian society. The kind of America our grandparents lived in, where people knew their neighbors and cared about them. But okay, what are you getting at here? Here we all are. <laughs> Shouldn't we be using this as a chance to make friends? To start really getting to know each other and- the power's back on! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you tried. Charlie. Just get me down. <laughs> hey, where's your bathroom? Through there to the left. Thanks. Hey, I'm gonna have some iced tea. You want some? Sure, that'd be great. I think your speech was real nice. And then Freddie's gonna get a ladder, climb up it, and try to kiss his new girly friend. <laughs> Sam. She's just kind of tall. It's not like she's some gigantic monster. Well... No, I'm kidding. She's not. Oh no, the thing is there. <laughs> oh my 
god! And now I have angina. <laughs> All right, so that was part five of season three for iCarly, which is also the end of season three. And I gotta say overall, this season has been pretty great. Not as fun as season two. I think season two was my favorite one. One and two have been my favorites. So hopefully the show kind of continues to be a little bit better and we have a little bit more character development and stuff like that, as well as the jokes landing more. But other than that, it was a pretty solid season and we had pretty great moments in this season so far. But hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to iCarly on my Patreon, like I said at the beginning of this video, go ahead and check for the link down in the description, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you all next time. Remember everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.